Dumbo's First Christmas One December morning, Dumbo the Flying Elephant woke up to find the circus grounds strangely quiet. He stuck his head outside his tent. Where was everyone? Then Timothy Mouse appeared. It's Christmas vacation, he announced. Time to sleep late, play in the snow, and get ready for the holidays. Dumbo looked puzzled. Ah, don't tell me you've never heard of Christmas before, Timothy said in disbelief. Hey, fellas, he called up to the crows. Come on down here. I need help explaining Christmas to Dumbo. The birds gathered around the elephant and began to chatter all at once. Why, Christmas is packages wrapped up in shiny paper. Now wait a minute. What about fancy holiday food? Don't forget a big tree covered in ornaments and lights. And music. You can't have Christmas without carols. Now do you understand? Timothy asked Dumbo. The elephant shook his head. He was even more confused. Hmm, Timothy said. This is going to be harder than I thought. He and the crows huddled together and quickly came up with a new plan. Dumbo, said Timothy, forget telling you about Christmas. We're going to show you. Timothy Mouse scampered up onto Dumbo's cap. Get ready for takeoff, he cried. The crows took to the sky. Dumbo flapped his ears and followed right behind them. They flew and flew until finally a magnificent skyline came into view. Welcome to New York City, Timothy announced. I can't think of a more Christmassy place except maybe the North Pole. Timothy had grown up in New York and thought it was the best place on earth. The little mouse gave Dumbo a tour of the bustling city. He showed the elephant the most festive place in New York first. That's Rockefeller Center, Timothy pointed out as they flew over a large tree. Below, ice skaters glided and twirled around a sparkling outdoor rink. But Dumbo couldn't take his eyes off the enormous tree, covered from top to bottom in twinkly lights and pretty decorations. Timothy could tell that Dumbo was impressed. What did I tell you? The mouse asked. People here don't just deck the halls, they decorate everything. Dumbo looked at all the people on the streets, full of holiday cheer. Some carried brightly wrapped packages, some were singing carols, everyone was in awe of the great big tree. The sights and sounds of Christmas made Dumbo feel very happy. He couldn't wait to find out more about the holiday. Timothy Mouse and Dumbo flew down Fifth Avenue, where the shop windows were filled with beautiful Christmas displays. Dumbo watched the shoppers hurrying around with large bags of presents. But Timothy saw something else. Hmm, that's strange, he said. People keep leaving presents in a box in front of the store over there. Come on, let's go find out what's going on. When Dumbo swooped down closer to the crowd, everyone cheered. They had never seen a flying elephant before. Dumbo felt like he was performing in one of his shows. What are the presents for? Timothy asked a woman. Is it the store's birthday or something? The woman chuckled. Then she explained that the packages were toys for children. There's just one problem, she continued. The snow has slowed down traffic and I don't know how we're going to make all of our deliveries in time. The boys and girls will be so disappointed if they don't get their presents this year. Timothy looked at Dumbo. Dumbo looked at Timothy. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? The mouse asked. Dumbo nodded enthusiastically. Lady, said Timothy, Dumbo and I would be happy to help spread a little Christmas cheer. I know this city like the back of my hand, and Dumbo here never needs to worry about stuff like traffic. You can consider those presents as good as delivered. The people on the sidewalk cheered. Thank you, Dumbo, one man said. I knew Santa had flying reindeer, but I didn't know he had a flying elephant. Shh, Timothy replied with a mischievous wink. It's supposed to be a secret. Soon Dumbo was given a sack of presents and a long list of names and addresses. Ho, 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 Timothy called out as he and Dumbo flew off. The pair arrived at their first stop. Through the window, they could see children hanging stockings over the fireplace. When they saw Dumbo and Timothy Mouse, they shouted with joy. Timothy handed each child a brightly wrapped present. Thank you, the children cried as Dumbo and Timothy flew away, and Merry Christmas! Dumbo and Timothy flew from one house to another. They dropped off dolls and dump trucks, books and building blocks, puppets and puzzles. Every once in a while, the crows took a break from sightseeing to pitch in and sing some Christmas music. They were the funniest carolers the kids had ever seen. Timothy's favorite part was watching the children and their parents when they spied Dumbo outside the windows. They'd blink and rub their eyes, wondering if what they were seeing could possibly be real. What's the matter? Timothy would say playfully. Haven't you ever seen a flying elephant before? Then he'd laugh. But what Dumbo loved most was the way the children's faces lit up when he gave them their presents. It made him feel happy right down to his toes. We'll come back and visit them again soon, Dumbo, 
said Timothy as they headed for home. I promise. Back at the circus grounds, Timothy and Dumbo settled down for the night. So, Dumbo, Timothy asked, now do you know what Christmas is all about? Dumbo wasn't listening, though. He was thinking of all the children he had met that day and how he and Timothy had made them all smile. It had been a perfect first Christmas. Seeing Dumbo's happy expression, Timothy said, yep, I think you do. The two tired friends soon fell fast asleep. That night, for the first time ever, Dumbo's dreams and his heart were filled with the magic of Christmas. <laughs>